Welcome to the, when you go round, completing a lap, the first one that is at the back, those who will have to drop out, there is your starting lineup. a big starting lineup for this, because of the format of the event, so last person at the end of the lap drops out, and at the same time you also have the first, second and third skaters across the starting line, finish line, and they will pick up points. And the laps later on in the competition are worth more points than those they start. So this is a slightly complicated race, elimination race and a points race combined. And this one will be over 50 laps. This is a 200 meter track. So it's uh, an interesting lineup, particularly as we have some very interesting names involved in this competition. Of course, we are in Cali in Colombia, and there are a couple of famous Colombian speed skaters involved, Paula Segura and Yessi Pueyo Ortiz amongst them. So it should be a so expect to see a dash for the line at the end of each lap. The last person to cross that line will have to drop out. Fairly busy in the stadium this evening. Crowds here have been really enjoying all of the events. Some of the women's point elimination final where the competitors are just getting ready. itself should take around 15 minutes the world record is 15.58.022 and they are away this first few laps will be quite a scramble and it is Marisa Tum who is at the front at the moment and they will be taking it at quite a slow pace to start off with and then sprinting for that lap when it comes round. That is uh, the formation that they are going for. It's all about the tactics in this race. It's really quite complicated. So you don't want to be at the back. So the race leaders have been swapping. Now we have Annette Hayward of the United States at the front. And she has one of the Colombians just behind her, Paula Segura. And it is now Segura who has taken to the front. And they fall into formation as different people, different skaters take turns at the front to set the pace. change places and another skater takes to the front to become the pacemaker for a while everybody taking their turn that's how this event works it is about sportsmanship if you don't take your turn and expect the others to turn on you Back to Annette Hayward at the front. So 
some stuff to talk with. Correct, and on lap 25 we will have the bell, and on lap 24 we will have points. Okay, so we have the announcement there. That the points part of this race will start after the bell on lap 25, and with the points from lap 24. So they are still in formation with the pace lines. Effectively the peloton behind, very much like road cycling. We watch the Tour de France, we've got some idea of how this is going to work. A couple of skaters starting to break away from Haywood at the front. So we need to get to that 25 lap point. And the race will get underway. So they are beginning to crank up the speed a little bit here. We have Hayward alongside Segura. The front two at the moment, and the Colombians cheering on as Segura goes to the front. Hayward just behind. And then the rest of the peloton. about a third of the way into this competition. Still all about the tactics at this point. The rest of Peloton has been built up. So you can just see the lap count, 36 they are on, so still a way to go until that 25 mark. And it's that the halfway point when we get the points part of this race starting. It's the first part. It's just about holding onto your position as Sabine Berg of Germany takes to the front. That becomes the pace line. of the line, which the crowd is enjoying, and then there's a switch. This is the athletes from Chinese Taipei taking the front of the pace line. All important, just hold your nerve, stay in, make sure you're in the right place at the right time in this kind of race. So a few more laps to go until they reach the 25 bell mark. And then the pace should step up. Starting at the moment, just again taking turns with the French Leading the way, Clements Albu and Colombia's Segura once again. Just making sure that she is there. 
well as Manoz and Cuello Ortiz also in that first line. And the atmosphere in the stadium is slowly building. The crowd know that this is just the appetizer and the race will get more and more dramatic as it continues. So you can also tell by the time that things will start to pick up speed-wise. Because that time at the moment, 8 minutes 19 seconds, as they hit the 27 lap mark, they'll start shaving some time off each lap after they hit the 25 bell. The skaters from Poland at the front and the 25 bell mark and now it gets interesting. The 25, that was 9 minutes. Now it's good they're explaining this to the crowd as well, some of whom won't have seen this event before. So there we go with the first points. So the athletes from Chinese Taipei taking the first two points with the lead and second place as well. And that was Annette Hayward, who was eliminated for being at the back after that lap. So, things really beginning to get going. Columbia picking up points as well, as they go across the line. Still, Nissan Berman of the Netherlands, the next athlete to be knocked out. Points collecting at the top of the leaderboard for Chinese Taipei. Nineteen laps still to go. Eliminada, Colombia. Number twelve eliminated Colombia. So that was surprisingly Cuello Ortiz eliminated that time in that lap. So the points coming at the front and the eliminations coming at the back. So Clements Albu of France has been eliminated and we get down to the crunch point with fewer and fewer skaters on each lap. So at the number moment, seven, point, we have Ho Chen Yang of Chinese Taipei at the top, joints with points with Romy Munoz Velez as we hit lap 15. And they are starting to crank up the speed. the number of laps diminishing.
And with four points each at the moment, it is still Yang of Chinese Taipei and Munoz Velez of Colombia. And again, the eliminations are still continuing each lap. That was Paolo Segura that time of Colombia, eliminated on the last lap. So some of the athletes will be in this to help the teammates through the first few rounds. So we're on lap 11 to go. Counting down from the 50 at the start. And the points building up. But building up for Munoz Velez of Colombia, who now has taken the lead points wise with seven. Dan Guo of China and Ho Chen Yang, both with four points just behind. So it is about trying to stay in that top two as you cross the line. Number 30. So coming up to 15 minutes, which means that there is not long to go in this race, and Nunoz Velez is hitting the front of the pace line. get down to the last few skaters. Ten thousand meters the target. Fifty laps. And now they're battling for points across each lap with just five laps to go. And it is close at the top, with Munoz Velez on nine, and Dan Guo on eight. Just need to pick up a couple of points on each lap. So that's Juliet Puyadabat, who is out now, caught, eliminated after the last lap. around 10 skaters as the crowd start chanting for their skater, Munoz Velez. And it is a joint lead at the moment, Munoz Velez and Guo of China. 10,000 meters. Chinese Taipei, China and Colombia, the countries at the front of this competition. As we hit the final lap coming up, all important points now. Justine Abu trying to get to the front. That's about picking up those final points making sure you're near the front as they hit the line and you want to get those final few points. So they will just... <laughs> add them up and give us the results. So, coming across the line, that was Justine Aobu and Dan Guo of China, and they were along in the early stages of the race. So there is confirmation.
of the results. Dan Guo with gold. Munoz Velez with silver. And Yang Ko Chen with the bronze medal. And 13 points to score for the win. 16 names there. The last few obviously elim eliminated as you go along in this competition. Here's the names of the rest of the skaters who get eliminated as the last few rounds unfold. So the women's competition has been decided while the men are having their warm-up. Chinese athletes celebrating with their flag.